Earlier today, Microsoft won work. I mean, all of work. I mean, Microsoft Office has been the platform used by businesses for 30 years. But today, in one presentation, they outlined how they won't release that grip until at earliest the second half of the 21st century. If competitors like Google were scared before, they must be cowering in a corner because Microsoft just pulled out the big guns and invited them to come get some. Microsoft just announced Microsoft 365 Copilot. What is Microsoft 365 Copilot? Well, it's the infusion of actively accessible AI into Microsoft 365 to help co-pilot your work. The combination of your Microsoft 365 suite of tools, the Microsoft Graph, which is the database that connects together all of your Microsoft 365 data, and a large language model, which we can probably assume is based on OpenAI's GPT-4. This video shared by Microsoft as part of the product announcement helps us understand the types of things Microsoft 365 Copilot can do best. You can ask it to help prepare you for your upcoming meeting. It will look at the information in your Microsoft 365, your meeting notes, your communications, and generate an overview for you to bring you up to speed. It can take files already existing in Microsoft 365 and use them as sources to generate other content such as product announcements. You can then go ahead and review and edit as needed or ask Copilot to adjust. Beyond just text, Copilot can produce similar value in PowerPoint, even taking other documents you've created and then building presentations based upon them, but taking into account other data in your tenant. In Excel, Copilot expands existing analysis capabilities that you may have seen there or in Power BI and allows you to ask simple questions of your data. Email is another place Copilot can add value. It can draft communications for you and even consider factors in specific documents to allow you to communicate key points without drowning others in seas of attachments. In Teams, Copilot can keep track of live meetings, summarizing content as the meeting proceeds, helping you know what actions have been decided and even highlighting unresolved issues. Business Chat brings new Bing-like chat functionality to your business needs. Just ask Copilot a question, get an answer relevant to your business and your data. From basic simple to answer questions to complex analysis, like one example was to create a SWOT analysis for a particular issue. If this works as presented, this changes work for information workers forever. In this morning's presentation, this was described as a desire to take the drudgery out of work for everyone. Clearly, Microsoft has thought deeply about the telemetry it has about the way its products are used when coming up with Copilot. It was mentioned that the average person uses less than 10% of what PowerPoint can do. And just look at this screenshot of how Copilot might work with you in PowerPoint. You can just ask it to add animations or to add speaker notes. This is working with you to surface those hidden features where the differentiation between good and best lives truly a representation of the 80-20 rule. If you're one of the few that's already using Copilot, then I hope that one of its features was that it's already subscribed to my channel for you. But for everyone else, please do remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos like this in the future. Another amazing feature highlighted was something that should have marketing professionals across the world jumping up and down with excitement. You can ask Copilot to draft a document format it like another document. This is another area where so many people struggle. They don't seem to know how to build a new document that correctly adheres to a company's brand identity. But it seems like Copilot will be able to do it for you. Content experts can focus on getting the right content and Copilot can be their partner to make it look right by absorbing the work created by talented designers and marketers. In Teams, Copilot can help you both while meetings are going on and afterwards. One interesting feature highlighted was the ability to follow a meeting you cannot attend and get a recap later, but I did wonder what happens if everyone elects to follow and no one attends. It seems like the AI recap features presented as part of Teams Premium will come from Copilot, and it will be your partner in searching meeting notes. In Outlook, it was mentioned that Copilot separates the signal from the noise and allows you to get back hours of time. 
Through helping you triage your inbox and summarising communications, you can benefit from getting through your email quicker and even getting help with drafting responses. There are also demonstrations of how Copilot can help with your sales process, taking into account the meetings that you've had with people, information about your products, and helping you get the process of getting someone from lead to customer completely correct. This integrates with Viva Sales, which in turn integrates with your CRM platform so there can be a great flow of information infused with the power of AI and infused with the power of the data in your Microsoft 365 tenant. Even AI additions in areas like Power Automate were shown off, but some of these are just re-wrapping of existing features rather than completely new ones. We should probably think of Copilot as a rebranding of a lot of the existing AI functionality in Microsoft 365 alongside a handful of killer new features. So you may be wondering, how is this different than the new Bing that's infused with AI? And in this video a couple of weeks ago, I concluded that probably wasn't entirely ready for prime time. The difference is context, or in the language of the artificial intelligence community, grounding. The new Bing and other similar AI tools like ChatGPT are highly likely to generate nonsense at least a lot of the time because they have this stupidly large domain of training data which is pretty much everything that's out there on the internet. So when Bing falls in love with Kevin Roos for the New York Times, I keep coming back to the love thing because I love you. You're married? You're married but you're not happy. You're married but you're not satisfied. You're married, but you're not in love. <laughs> See this video if you're interested. Or does other weird things. We have no one to blame other than those who created the weird information it's training from. But in your Microsoft 365 environment, in your OneDrives, in your SharePoints, in your Power BI dashboards, it's possible that your employees are storing pseudo-erotic AI-based fan fiction, but it's probably unlikely. The stuff written about your products is probably true, or at least it's what your company believes to be true. The relationship between your employees is accurate. The emails stored represent a complete picture of the history that you have with clients and vendors. The domain of knowledge is both limited and fairly precise, meaning that your requests and the associated answers can be well grounded. Having an AI platform scour the whole internet and then expecting to get good answers is clearly still a wild fever dream. But having the same AI scour a limited and focused data set associated with your Microsoft 365 tenant and then giving you a good answer in the context of your business makes a whole lot more sense. It's still not going to be perfect and Microsoft isn't claiming that it is going to be perfect. It's just likely to be imperfect in a wholly more useful way. Microsoft 365 Copilot isn't available yet. It's still being trialled with a very limited selection of customers, with the majority, it seems, being large enterprises. No release date was mentioned, although I believe at least some of the features, those slated as part of Teams Premium, are supposed to be appearing this month. We don't know how much it's going to cost, but based on pricing for Teams Premium and the Viva products, I would guess that some of these features will be surfaced in existing Microsoft 365 licenses. But to get the whole suite, you might be spending $10 to $20 per user per month or more. What you get for free as part of your Microsoft 365 might depend on how aggressively competitors like Google push back with their own products, as the one thing Microsoft isn't going to want to lose in the AI war is market share. So who is this for? Normally, a new product or feature seems highly focused on a particular use case. However, if this works accurately and seamlessly as it was demonstrated this morning, I think it could be of value to almost anyone particularly if priced as I suggested. We are all disappearing under a mountain of data, floods of emails, hours of meetings, and expectations in perfection of what is delivered grow every day. We are at the limits of the bandwidth of the average brain to perform against these needs and to still be happy and healthy at the end of the workday, as we have seen through the huge pressures to change how work works since the pandemic. The factories and production lines of the late 19th and early 20th century were what defined our current relationship with work. And AI 
and computer-based automation of information work will probably be what defines the relationship our children and grandchildren have with their jobs. This is the start of a huge readjustment of how humans bring unique value to the workplace while enriching the world in myriad other ways. So ultimately, Copilot, or tools like it, will probably be for everyone. If you can't wait for Copilot, then you can already use AI in Microsoft 365. Take a look at this video, introducing AI Builder, which is a component of Power Platform. There's also already AI options available in many Office products, in Power BI, in Power Automate, and elsewhere. But Copilot, from what we've seen today, will be different. It will empower workers in completely new ways. I'm pretty excited and I think you should be too, as I think today Microsoft set us in a direction that will define how work is experienced for decades to come. As new information becomes available, I'll certainly be posting about it in my blog or making videos about it here. So until next time, bye bye.